Is down almost to the waist is this falls look on the runways of the world. Some models have hair that's sleek and straight, others wear it full and curly. The look is definitely feminine and often it's very sexy. But Bruno de Matero of Manhattan's Le Salon tells me it's not for everyone. He dislikes long hair on short women and on women with small faces. Hair is like a dress, you know, you have to know how to move in it, how to walk, how to present yourself. Wendy Salamander is short, slight, with a certain fragile look. Bruno decided immediately her hair should be cut. Wendy had medium fine hair, but she had a lot of hair. She had a beautiful neck here, which you didn't see when she had that long hair. So what I did is cut her hair a little bit off her shoulder to show her neck. I put her face, her hair a little bit off her face to show her features. She had fantastic uh, jawline, which you didn't see with her long hair. She had a fantastic forehead and she had a fantastic cheekbone. What I did is just lay her hair a little bit, bring her hair just up the shoulder, which made her look, I think, much better. What does the layering do? It makes the hair become a little fuller. If she doesn't have too much fullness, it becomes a little dull for her. Is that why you put so much mousse into her hair? No, we put mousse to give a little body to her hair too. The mousse coats the hair, which gives it a little bit thicker hair. Bruno used a blow dryer on Wendy's hair, crunching the hair while drying it. This makes the hair fuller. It also encourages natural waves and curls. Is her hair very versatile with this cut? She can wear it straight. She can wear it very full. The front, she doesn't need too much because once her, her hair is off her face, as you see there, it looks fantastic. Sarah Hill has long hair too, but she's taller, so Bruno decides only to trim it. I cut maybe an inch and a half off the back, and uh, I layer the front a little bit. Sarah has a round face, so what I did is layer it around a little bit to give, to give some pieces going on her face, to break up that roundness that she had. I cut the, the bangs a little shorter than usual for her. If you show a little bit of the forehead, her, her face becomes oval, which is a very nice shaped face, I believe and therefore it's much more flattering to her. The sides I layer a little bit by, by pulling the hair toward the face and cut it in a certain angle that when it falls, it has those very wispy pieces that comes to her face. You also layered the back a bit, didn't you? Nothing drastic though. She doesn't need too much layers. You see, she has very thin hair. If you layer very thin hair too much, it becomes thinner. Therefore, it goes against, against what you're looking for. You know, you're looking for fullness. You're not looking to make hair look thinner than it is. A sleek hairstyle suits her better. I would say it's different. But Sarah can wear anything she wants anyway. She can wear it very full, and she can wear it very slick. And she will look good in both. That's hairstylist Bruno de Matera with his shoulder-length styles for fall. And now 